Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one. We do daily content on this channel where we talk about different homebrew, how to install different plugins, different emulators and things like that. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome back everybody to another video. Thank you so much for watching. And before we begin, I just want to apologize for my voice. I am picking up a cold and I have a very stuffy nose, but uh, this will not stop me. I'm bringing you guys content and I'm so excited for this one today. And I will be showing you how to copy your UMD movies and shows onto your PSP. And I'm currently on 6.60 with Infinity 2.0 and it's working just fine. And this is the best way, best method, and I think it's the only method to copy your UMD movies. So I currently have the National Treasure 2 movie on this system. I have Family Guy with uh, five episodes, the freaking sweet collection. And I just copied Lord of War. This one was a huge movie. This one was 1.62 gigabytes that was pretty large and it took about 20 minutes to copy onto my pc for some odd reason so we're going to be using our vsh menu and this is a menu that comes along with any custom firmware so anytime you install custom firmware the vsh menu is defaulted onto your select button when you're at the uh, xmb menu here you can see there and this is a very powerful little menu because we can overclock our XMB, our games, and we can change the USB device, which we're going to be using today. And I'll be copying the Guess Who movie here. I don't know this movie at all, but this is just going to be for the demo today. And you want to make sure that the uh, console actually reads the UMD disk because if it doesn't and you change the... Uh, USB device to UMD disk. It's just going to go back to the regular memory stick. Uh, so let's get this guy in here. Let's load that UMD disk onto our console here. And there it is. Perfect. Okay, so I think I know this movie. I haven't watched it though. But yeah, once it reads it, now you want to go to your select button or go to the VSH menu and change the USB device to our UMD disk. So you can see there. And you just go back by pressing select again. And now we can connect our PSP to our PC via USB cable. Once you plug in your PSP to your PC, you will see this pop up. Instead of having the regular defaulted memory stick with all the folders, you'll see an ISO image. And all you have to do is just copy this onto your desktop, anywhere on your PC. I'm going to copy this into my main hard drive. This is where I keep all my different files for my PSP, images for my YouTube channel, things like that. So I'll just drag that onto there. And actually, I already have uh, one UMD named uh, 9660. So what I'm going to have to do is just drag it onto my desktop and go from there. So this movie is 1.36 gigabytes. And it's going to take about, I'm going to guess, 15 minutes because the Lord of War was 164. And that took about 20 minutes. It took a while. So just uh, sit back, relax, and go watch another one of my videos and come back when this is done. <laughs> so we finally have a time remaining, and that's about 14 minutes. And in the meantime, you can go check out Rose Colored Gaming. And they have a bunch of awesome acrylic stands for your PSP consoles, uh, your Game Boys, and also your controllers for your PS4, PS3, you name it, they have it. It's great. Wonderful prices, not too expensive. And they also have skins like the Nintendo Switch Wood Skin, which I think is pretty cool. You can go check that out. And if you're interested in purchasing them, don't forget to use my discount code. And that link will be in the description down below along with the code. So make sure you go check them out. 
and let them know that I sent you. All right, now that our ISO is copied onto our PC, what we want to do next is rename that. And let's go, guess who? Perfect. And there's really no way to compress this file. I try to use UMD Gen, which compresses game files pretty good. But as far as the ISOs for the movies and TV shows go, they just really don't do anything. Um, so we're not going to do anything like that to these ISOs. Now we can go back onto our PSP and disable the UMD disk and go back to our memory stick. Here we are back on our PSP. Let's end the USB connection. And I'm going to have to wait here because I have a micro SD adapter. I want to press select and change our UMD or I'm sorry, USB device to memory stick. Go back to our USB connection and back onto our PC. Here we are. Now we're going to copy the ISO onto our PSP memory stick. And you don't want to copy this into your video folder. It's not going to work. What we have to do is copy it into our ISO folder. If you don't have an ISO folder, just right click new folder and rename it ISO or press this little button up here, which says new folder and rename that ISO. Let's open up ISO. And within the ISO folder, you must have this folder called video. And now we want to copy that into our video folder. If you don't have the video folder, very easy. You just want to right click new folder, rename that video or press the little button up here again to create the new folder and rename that video. So it looks like it's going to take about two minutes and 45 seconds to copy the 130 gigabyte movie into that folder, which is great. A lot easier than copying the ISO onto our PC. It takes a long time, but it works like a charm. Okay, so the ISO is finally finished copying onto my PSP. And keep in mind that these files are pretty large. And in this folder, I have three movies and one show that adds up to 5.85 gigabytes. And it's pretty big. So just make sure you have enough space for it. And now we're going to go back onto our console and check out the movies. All right, so here we are back on our PSP console. Let's get out of our USB mode connection. And I'm gonna disconnect my cable here. And I'm sitting at 8%, so I gotta do this quick. Now we wanna go back onto our VSH menu, press select, and let's reset our VSH. And you can remove the UMD disk there. We don't really need that. And this is very convenient because you can have like all of your favorite movies and shows on your memory stick and you can have them on the go when you travel and things like that. And I think it's great. So we have to go back on to our VSH menu. This is the only way to access our movies. So press select and we're going to go down to the ISO video mount and you can see that it's defaulted to none but when we press left and right you should see the different movies and shows that you have added into the uh, ISO video folder there's Family Guy the freaking sweet collection there's National Treasure 2 there's Lord of War and guess who so let's test this one out and if everything goes well your system should reset and you should see the UMD movie sitting in the video section. So let's take a look here. And it should automatically load up the UMD. As you can see, perfect, works great. And here is that UMD disk. Let's open up so you guys can see that it's actually working. Boom. That is really nice. Let's start up the video here. And as far as overclocking goes, you want to make sure that you're sitting at at least uh, default or 333. Uh, I forgot what the speed is for the standard uh, Hertz on the PSP, but if you're at 333, you should be fine. As you can see, it's running well. We can go to our audio setup. 
we can go to our previews we can go to our subtitles and everything works just fine so let's test out subtitles and let's have the English on perfect let's go back whoops sorry so if you do press circle it will take you back to the menu uh, you can also press triangle to access the different uh, controls here for the video you can press square I believe it's square or uh, let's see here also it doesn't okay so I'm sorry it is select so if you press select you'll go back to your main XMB here which is nice press it again let's play the movie here and it runs great I ran a family guy national treasure 2 I did have a few issues on national treasure 2 it was lagging a lot when the movie was starting and five minutes in it was kind of it was a little jerky so I had to overclock it to 333 and then afterwards when I reset everything it started to work perfectly and look at that beautiful picture works great I'm not sure if I have the I do have my brightness all the way up there we go and all the controls work as if you had a UMD disk in there as you can see and you can go to different scenes by pressing the L and R and if you press triangle you'll see the different controls that I was talking about earlier uh, which is nice so yeah that's basically it that's how that works and you can always exit just by uh, let's see here you could just go into your game tools or whatever or go to uh, some type of different menu here and you can get out of it you can press select again and you can change the movie back and forth you can go to family guy the freaking sweet collection and every time you select a movie or a show it will automatically reset your device and load up the UMD uh, ISO which is great so this is this is such an amazing way to watch your movies and I'm so excited to buy a bunch of stuff that I really want and I highly recommend you guys getting your own and buying your own UMD discs just because that's just the legal way to do it and let's just run Family Guy here real quick because in the past when I first started testing this method Family Guy was not working for some odd reason but I forgot to reset the VSH so when you press select you have to reset that don't forget to do that because your movies might not load so that is basically it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you have any questions as always comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And hopefully I get better so I don't have to sound this uh, weird when I'm making content. But this week's going to be a little rough. So I appreciate you guys sticking around and subscribing. We made it over 7,000. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Take care and I will see you on the next one.